Welcome to part three of our three bite-sized videos introducing the CAT4 and the information it gives us about pupil's underlying ability, enabling us to quickly and easily spot underachievement. In the previous two videos, we looked at what the CAT4 is and how it's administered and explored what standardised tests are and their value to you and your students. In this, the third and last video, we'll look at the CAT4 results and reports and how they can help you. Once your teachers have taken the three tests, a wide range of reports will be available for you to download, from whole group analysis to information on individual students. There's a report to support discussion with parents and an Excel download to enable further manipulation and analysis of the results. St Peter's Collegiate School in Wolverhampton shared with us what information the different types of staff in school find useful. As you can see, the CAT4 data benefits staff at all levels. The data team compare the ability scores with Key Stage 2 SATS results to identify anomalies and to ensure the effective setting of targets. The senior team use it to monitor all year groups. It enables the English and Maths departments to easily identify students who need more support and also supports the SENCO's decisions. Find out more by reading the linked case study. CAT4 looks at four cognitive areas or types of reasoning. These represent the way that people take on new information and work with it. There is an overall ability score for each student, but what's more interesting is the comparison between the four areas, which gives insights into individuals' cognitive strengths and weaknesses. So here we can see the individual report for a student called Harry. Harry is a quiet lad, gets on with his work and is perhaps a little reticent to participate in class discussion. In his CAT4, he scored a mean of 98 firmly within the average band, which would perhaps lead his teacher to rest assured that all is well with Harry. However, the individual battery scores show us that he has a hidden strength. His spatial reasoning score was significantly higher than his other scores at 128. He also has a significant weakness. His non-verbal score is only 79. If his teacher can highlight his spatial skills, perhaps get him to take the lead on a relevant project, his confidence in all areas may grow. This is why CAT4 is really useful. It allows us to look at his potential and see where we can add value. If we link the CAT4 ability results back to the progress tests, thereby comparing ability with attainment, we can easily identify underachievement. Here we can see a student with an ability level of 121 and a progress test result of 100. This shows that they're clearly underachieving according to their ability. If we found a student with ability in the top 10% and a performance in, say, maths of around the midway point of the 50th percentile, this would encourage us to ask why they aren't performing to their ability. And this is where the partnership of assessment comes in, as the data asks the question, but the answer will need the professional knowledge of the teacher. Now, we know that you have enough on your plate without expecting you to do this comparison yourselves. So we've designed an automatically produced combination report that does this for you. Have a look at Daniel Brown, who has an ability score of 110, but a lower attainment score of 93. The data has identified a discrepancy and is asking the question, why is there this discrepancy? The next step is for the teacher to apply everything else they know about that student to find the answer. Is he coasting? What's his homework like? What's his attitude like? CAT4 also produces indicators of future performance. This is a secondary example and shows the new number format for GCSE indicators. There are two indicators for each student based on prior performance in each subject of students with the same standardised age score. The first is based on average performance and the second is a challenging indicator of future performance based on the performance of the top 25% of students with the same standardised age score. This is the primary individual report from CAT4 showing links to the new Key Stage 2 scaled scores. Firstly, it shows the probability of the student reaching a score that is the expected standard or the higher standard set by the government. Next, you can see the key stage 2 score they're likely to achieve, 
or the one that students with the same CAT4 score have previously achieved on average. Together with the score that the upper tranche of 25% of pupils with the same CAT4 score go on to get. Thank you for watching our videos introducing the CAT4. Once you've run the tests, why not book onto one of our assessment insight sessions? These two hour interactive sessions are aimed at helping you make the very best use of the assessment data for the benefit of your students. Also remember you can always contact us at the GL Training Department if you have any questions or would like to learn more.